Hi everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Donna from Axaratech.com, helping you go from the classroom to the extra room with ease. And today, as you all can see clearly by the title and the thumbnail, we're going to be going through and comparing the Bontrasia textbook of radiographic positioning and related anatomy versus the Merrill's Atlas of Radiographic Positioning and Procedures. Both books, as the title mentions, has to do with anatomy, radiographic imaging, and positioning. So, let's get into the comparison between these two. I'll be volleying back and forth between the both books. Let's go. I'm in need of an x -ray. The first thing worthy of mentioning, when we consider the Bond Treasure book versus Merrill's, I think it's pretty clear that the Bond Treasure is more concise. And when I say concise, I don't only mean by its contents, but also the number of books required to cover the topics. Bond Treasure is one book. And in this particular video, thankfully, thanks to my friend, I was able to get some recordings, some videos of the Bond Treasure textbook because i don't have that book i always use the online copy but um i do have my merrill textbooks all the positioning and anatomy is in one book whereas merrill's has three volumes for their editions i have the 12th edition and my friend has i believe the sixth or the seventh let me double check she has the seventh edition bon treasure is also clearly because it's only one book way less weight to carry around and in general the both books have a really nice layout no complaints there the handbook has a nice column for the bond treasure book it has a really nice column or table for inputting different exposures and other factors namely the centimeters uh, kv ma time mas sid and even the exposure indicator index right now unfortunately there have been some instances where Bond Treasure and Merrill's differ a bit, not just in their general aesthetic, but it has a lot to do with some of the positioning techniques. Merrill's, in my opinion anyway, tend to form the more of a, a more of a gold standard. It covers a lot of bases within radiographic positioning and even anatomy. I think that they go through, I mean, it's three books, right? They really, really break it down for you and give you a lot of support and details when you're done, you know, the bones inside and out, literally. <laughs> so I want to give you an example of this, right? In terms of how it varies in position and techniques. At least for this 7th edition of Bond Treasure, I noticed that it does not have a particular position that Merrill's have. Now for the shoulder, we know we have a lot of views, AP, AP obliques, we have transthoracic and all of that, right? However, in Merrill's, there's a particular view that focuses on the glenoid cavity and that view is called the Apple's view. And I realized that the Bon Treasure book actually does not have the Apple's view and has the AP oblique projection. That was something I was really interested in. Now, they do have an AP oblique projection. However, that projection is not weighted unlike the apples they have the grashies or the grashies no I'm not sure how to pronounce it. i think it's grashies that's how i pronounce it anyway they have the grashies but they don't have the apples and once in a while not all the time but once in a while you'll see that merrill's might have an additional view or projection that bond treasure may not have so that's just something to make note of one thing that I really like about Bond Treasure though, and this is something that Merrill's does not have, Bond Treasure has a really, really nice practice question section. After each part, you'll be getting questions that you can relate to. And at the end of the book, there's this really nice answer key section that answers the questions correctly, of course, so that you know where you went wrong and what you need to review. It's a really nice feature that Merrill's actually doesn't have. All Merrill's really has to the end is the index. And I believe some abbreviations, if I remember correctly. Of course, I'll be having videos of the book running, so you'll see what I mean. But that's something to note. 
You know, so with Merrells, you get the nice special views and projections, and with Bon Treasure, you get the practice questions and with the answers to the back. Something noteworthy of Merrells is that they have a longer list of pathologies. I think Merrells really try to include a lot of the more common or popular pathologies that you might see every day. And that's really nice. So when you're studying for exams, likely you're going to know what pathology it is that comes up in your class. And then something about Bon Treasure that I like, I really, really do appreciate how Bon Treasure labels their images. Sometimes you might see some similarities between the books, the two books, because there have been times where I look at one book and compare it to the other, and in a certain category, I don't know, the hand actually might be exactly the same. That's just a random example, it may not be the hand, but you'll see some familiar radiographs among the both books. However, when Bon Treasure labels them A to Z, it's just really nice how they do it. I just prefer Bon Treasure for that reason. And again, Bon Treasure is more simple, straight to the point, and concise. So for my final remarks, I'll just want to say this. If you're a student that's fairly new to radiography and maybe you're starting at the beginning, you might be one year in or you just want a nice little study book, a quick study book, then Bon Treasure is the book for you. But if you're a student who maybe has already gone through the first day of their program, you're starting to get deeper into the radiographic art and science and you need a lot of details, supporting details, more attention to anatomy and stuff, then Merrill's I highly, highly recommend. In general though, I know it's a lot of books, but I recommend the Merrill's Atlas of Radiographic Positioning and Procedures over the Bond Treasure textbooks. However, in my opinion, when I look at being on site and having a little pocketbook, weirdly enough, because I do have it, I recommend the Bond Treasure's handbook because I love the fact that you could input your own. They actually gave you a dedicated area to put in your own exposures. So, you know, it's up to you, but that's just my opinion. Also, I find the handbook for Bon Treasure is easier to find procedures. Like the order is so straightforward, whereas with Merrells, you might have to kind of look around a bit based on how the contents fall in the book. Anywho, that's just my view. It's up to you all. No book is more correct or more right than the other. And this is just a general synopsis of my thoughts on Bon Treasure versus Merrells and what I recommend. So thank you all so much for watching. I pray that this was helpful and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. You don't have to go through your anatomy exams, imaging assignments and clinical competencies alone. Subscribe to Active Rad Tech for helpful tutorials and vlogs. Let's make the journey from the classroom to the extra room much easier.